Oh well, guys, just want to show you today what I'm doing with my all waste filter. This jar is uh, full of filter uh, from the Oryx solution and from uh, different AP filtering. Uh, here inside I got some uh, standard test papers and uh, tissue, everything what is spill. I wipe and uh, put in the jar and I always see inside it's wet. I always uh, put him wet in the jar and uh, close because the, if you keep uh, dry, you know, if you dry your filter and keep it dry, he, act, he actually can burn, him, burn himself. He became uh, paralyzed, paralyzed, and uh, okay. Now we'll put all our that filter in the bucket, and uh, we go to burn that. Now we'll just burn that filter into fine dust, and when it's finished, we go to crash every remain particle inside that bucket and uh, I'll back when this job is finished. Okay, after we finish our burning filter, look at what we left. So you just take some tool and uh, crush it more to the small pieces. Because acid needs uh, to go to every particles. Just be aware of the, that fine dust which flow in the air. You're not, you don't breathe, breathe her. Okay, that's almost full procedure. And when we crush our fine dust, we just just can uh, refine straight or like I do I keep some uh, filter with the uh, pins foils in that jar and uh, I just put that together Water. And for the next, you add some hydrochloric acid to cover all that foils and that dust. It's look disgusting, but. Uh, It's important that it's working. Okay, that will be enough. 
just cover the foils and now we ready for the adding bleach now guys we are ready for refining we add a couple more filter inside look how nasty it look like a mud but never mind now we add bleach little by little and because the inside the just foils should be pretty fast job uh, do not add all the bleach at once I give time I give time to bleach to, be, to get a good reaction the chlorine ion react how it should be so I just shake a little bit time of time and I'm not to uh, add uh, all the bleach once I don't like that so Inside we got some uh, pins from the, some uh, foils from the pins, some foils from the, this uh, 70 gram of finger from the last video, and uh, I got that uh, burn paper or paper filter. So I just want to show you how nasty it look. Look at that, like a frog, some stuff which came from the frog ass, but uh, it's okay, it's important, it's important that, uh, that uh, you got your gold, not how you get it. Just a little shake. You always, but you always wearing mask when you do this because that uh, chlorine gas is very poison. Even for the mask, they find a way to your lungs. You feel the smell. You need a very, very good mask. It's okay. I will add this uh, bleach, three part acid and one part bleach for the foils. When I dissolve the uh, bonding wire, I use 50-50, uh, but 70-50 uh, for the foils. So when I finish this, we go to filter. Okay, after dissolve all the foils, we now start, I've already started to filter the solution, so look at how it's dirt, pretty bad, look, look, uh, so this is what we got, uh, about the color, that color is look at that we got inside a lot of gold, but I don't expect too much gold from it. This is just a 70 gram of finger and uh, maybe 100 grams of pins and uh, that all filter, that mud, it's all from the ashes from the old filter. So, when I finish this, we go to the dropping some gold in meanwhile till our solution is filter we will do, we will do some uh, drop how it should be doing every time so still i use a uh, 
kalimetri sulfaid or on English potassium metri sulfaid. So this is I got uh, two deciliter of uh, distillated water. I I will add in the water. And dissolve all kalium in desolate water. And just spill it all. Okay. So this is what you use for dropping. Now when finish is over, you just need to wash one or two times your filter with the distillate water to concentrate. And clean all the mud in the filter from the our solution. You put add the new water inside, you push the solution through the filter down in the jar. In this way you also diluted your solution. Okay, after we finish filtering, this is our waste filter. See that? So we got our troll. Just put him back in the jar with the waste filter. And now you keep all new filter. And when, when this jar will be full, you just process it again. And now we will we'll do some stain you test. Stain you test. Now we will do some staining test and see we got a reaction on gold. Not much, but I expect something like that. And now we got our solution. In this cup I got a mix uh, from uh, HCl and uh, distillated water, half half. And we would use this to uh, dilute our solution. Not a double size, but almost a double size. And to neutralize bleach. And in this cup, I already dissolve kalium metal sulfate. And I will do some dropping now. It's not became color colorless because uh, we got some base metal inside. And now we wait to see reaction.
just got this stenu test and I wipe him in the jar with the filter. That way I don't waste any of my gold. And now reaction is starting, about now. Solution became dark. After a couple of minutes, you see our solution is get a little darker, but not too much. I expect I don't expect too much gold. And uh, see. They already start to settle down. But uh, we just leave it and see what we got from this. But this is not much material, so I don't expect a lot of gold. And uh, okay, so wrong when it's finished. Hey guys, I just want to show you something. This is just after half hour. You see, my solution is already red and look at that gold at the bottom I told you not much but uh, it's clumpy and uh, it settled down after 30 minutes so uh, we got some base metal in the solution but uh, that's looked that uh, it's a uh, good uh, quality gold when the, you got that fast dropping it's a good quality gold and uh, i do some stenius test from the solution up to see if any gold left in the solution and uh, you see that no reaction at all so we drop all the gold just for the case we left for more couple of hours and uh, we will filter this. Okay guys, I skipped the filter. I skipped the part with the filtering our dust from the golden dust from the solution and I see that that golden bee. I just uh, jumped to the melting point, so I'm not uh, talk too much because uh, I don't want the, that video to be too long, and uh, I'll be back when I finish. Okay, guys, after all this job uh, from uh, 70 grams uh, finger and uh, 100 grams of pins, bad pins, and 50-50 uh, low grade and high grade uh, finger. And from all that old filter, we now got this little bead, 0.3 gram of gold. So I check everything twice and I don't lose any gold, but uh, I don't. I, do, I really even don't expect. I expect maybe 0.2 gram, but uh, okay, it's a bit fun video. So see you around, guys. Bye. Till next time.